Hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Builder Simulator. I'm pretty pumped to check this out. Uh, I really like the idea of an actual building simulator. I have some mixed feelings on Sims. For every good one, there's a shovelware one. You know, they, they forget that it's supposed to be a fun game first and a, and a meticulous simulator second. But you know, we've covered some really good bangers on this channel. Um, what we're gonna do is game mode tutorial and okay yeah thanks mate and we're gonna start here um yeah i things like <laughs> landlord super stardew valley the ones where they start to mix in all the social side fluff I, i'm less interested in that this seems to be a bit more anal about you know laying bricks and that which appeals to me much more than dating villages <laughs> Though I'll tell you what, this guy's a bit fucking insufferable. Let's start with the basics. You got a drill for a hand, mate. You know what to press, don't you? Must drive the ladies wild. All right, so off we go. Teach me. Jesus. Yeah. Look at all, look at all this crap. Yeah. All right. Tasks. Install formworks. Yeah. So I don't actually come from a civil engineering background. Fantastic. Mine's maritime mechanical. My maker always said that everything needs but a I base. had to work with a lot of army blokes and concreting was a big part of the Select civil the process. The but and I know nothing about concrete other than the fact that it's fucked. And people don't truly understand how it works. <laughs> uh, give me a shovel. Like, I'd actually like to learn more about dig the foundation with a shovel. Wait, so you want me to just... Oh, I prep it. Oh, okay, that's cool. And I can just hold it down? Yeah, I, like... I'm getting old. Older... But the idea of, you know, if you have fuck you money and you don't have work, so the idea of going to uni and studying something useless but interesting, Forward like, oh, I don't know, history. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need um, to build. Appeals to me. And something right like now, learning about concreting <laughs> actually really appeals to me because the whole science behind concrete is fascinating. Good job. Um, Choose the first store foundation. Bye. Now on the left. Oh, whoops. Should I not have done that? You can change oh, that's me. Items you want to buy to one, ten, or one hundred. Ah. Buy one hundred formworks and reinforcements. Done. Oh, and reinforcements. Great job. All right, cool. Did Let's you go. Know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye. Really? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. Okay. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? You just became part of it. <laughs> okay, sure. So, what are you talking about? Hold right and then press left or some bullshit? Have I got any other buttons? Dig foundation, install formworks. No, I've already, I've already dug. Okay, I can see the highlighted thing. Oh, maybe I press the... Ah. Now, what was this about right click? I don't know what you're talking about. Right, I'm just going to hold left click. That sounds, that sounds good to me. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. This is kind of cool. I actually like this. Next up is reinforcement. Sure. Same Let's principle as with formworks. Just lay the the rebar, eh? This is cool. This always makes me wonder, like, because I grew up through the video gaming generation, right? Like all the de Good developers job. of nowadays are, are now my age, or like. And I wonder if, not to be a prude, but imagine if we focus less on entertainment and Hollywoodizing video games and more on like an educational bent. And then you have a look at stuff like this. 
and you could just imagine if we took a different direction, our entire education system could be video games teaching you fucking trades and like, anyway, I suppose it's not too late. We could always pivot. But there's a whole culture that video games that are educational aren't cool. There are some ones like coding rabbits and all that to teach you very base code. Um, I enjoyed looking at. Start the concrete mixer. Create concrete. Pick up wheelbarrow. Anyway, I'm just sort of musing over the idea that... Uh, uh, wait, so we just... Is it already good to go? Is that what you're saying? Oh, it is too. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I like this learning. You know, at the very least, this teaches you about how the reinforcements and all that are laid to, for concrete. Anyway, I just... I find it interesting. It seems like so much untapped potential. That's it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that's fine. As far as tutorials go, that's that's good because there's so much going on. This what insufferable little claptrap dude is not terrible. You're probably wondering how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level. Yeah. Not really. Designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Let's find out how to make it. Again, it sounds even more prudish. I'm not a huge fan of winking at the camera and breaking the uh, immersion. The game design is this. It's like, okay, I get the humor, but uh, it's just not for me. Mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. It's like Inception. You know, you don't tell the dreamer that they're in a dream. All right, turn on concrete mixer. Bullets. Stick. Handy. Instructions not clear. Penis caught in concrete mixer. Mortar or concrete. concrete Alright, let's go. Let's put some Above sand in. Mixer, How much can I scoop? Just one? Oh, look. Oh, and it's keeping. Ah, look at this. It's keeping track of how much I've got in there. This is really good. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with how this is an actual game that's fun. Again, I get funny on some of these games. Yeah. How do we do that? We just pick it up. And then we just go interact. Lovely. Oops. All you need now is a bucket of water. Bucket of water. Your tool wheel. Do, I, do I just have water on my person, do I? Alright, well, whatever. That'll do. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And I guess we just let it mix for a bit. I like that. Why would I want to? Go this is. Yeah. Okay. Well, hang on. So it'll cost a bit more. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, what's the disadvantage of? Of, uh, yeah, okay. This is a costing, it's a costing issue. Right, okay. You gotta be careful with going, here's the core gameplay mechanic, and now here's a button to automate the mechanic. And it's like, alright. <laughs> summon the wheelbarrow from the tool. Hang on, so I can summon the wheelbarrow? Oh. Yeah, alright, Jesus. I hate this robot so much. Alright, so we, we turn it here. I like that. Okay, cool. Alright, so far so good. I'm enjoying this. Come on, teach me more, you, you pain in the ass. Oh my god. Enough Easter eggs. Let's go. Yes, it's. Oh. I'll still take this over the uh, over modern writing in general. <laughs> I'll take just constant Every pop rich, uh, pop culture references screen. and just crappy humor. <laughs> that I, I would kill for this in most get games compared to what we get. Ground. All right. So you want me to dig the ground, eh? 
Alright. Oh, look at this. This is how you dig in perfect squares. Who cares? It's a game, Scarlet. Don't get too bogged down on it. I actually don't care that much. It's fine. Alright. Done. Doug. Now what? You need a sand. I need a sand? You can do this in two ways. Either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Uh, Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. Done. Then place it in the floor. Nice. Oh, okay. We, Second way, you can hold space to, to empty the wheelbarrow. wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. What if I summon the wheelbarrow? I can't do that. Okay, whatever. Great. Okay, I can fill now it up. It's got a percentage. By pouring the sand over the concrete screen. And what was this about space bar? I don't know. Add. And in hand. Grab. Eww. Oh, that's cool. Sort of just filling up. Oh, that's way more efficient. So, see, this is clever because I'm getting more out of the wheelbarrow than I would from an individual shovel, right? Like, one shovel full was filling up one square, right? Whereas I only had two yeah. shovelfuls in that wheelbarrow and now it filled the whole thing. So you're incentivized to, to, to fill up the wheelbarrow and take it across. To make more durable. My 30 grid reinforcements. Yeah, okay. We can do that. Concrete screed. Grid reinforcements. What did you say? 30? Now place them on the foil. All right. Let's go. This is crazy. Yeah. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Oh, lucky me. Is fun sometimes, huh? Yeah, okay. Pour it over. Oh, we've got infinite by the look of it, hundred percent. Great work. Yeah. What? It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. Oh my god, please. It's now, it's it, you're killing me. Needs an insulation. <laughs> yep. Fun fact! You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. Yep. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Yep. Insulations. Now place the insulation over. Yep. Look at that. We're nearly done. Look at my floor come along. Use a wheelbarrow and pour out the final concrete layer. Oh, okay. So you put it under the you put the insulation in between, do you? Interesting. That's it! Nice. Alright. So you're done with the concrete screen loop. Yeah. Okay, if you say so. Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will yeah, speed we, up your work. Yeah, he's kind of addressing my issue with simulators the a lot of the time. They're, they're too interested in simulating something one-to-one. -one. So like, oh, let's make a tax return simulator. And they make it one-to-one. -one, and then, you know what? It's boring. Like doing the actual tax return. But if you think about building it as a game first, then you're onto something. Anyway, so so far this is good. Training room. Oh my I'll God. take you through it on the way. There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three. At least types this dude's not trying to make me join a union. Load bearing walls, plasterboard, and concrete partition walls. Oh really? We got that into it. The most rewarding part of the construction. Yeah right. Okay. You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get. Hollow blocks from the shop. Hollow blocks from the shop. Let's go. Of them now. 
Hollow blocks. How much do you want me to get? I didn't. Fantastic. Whatever, hundred will do. Now it's time to pick up mortar. Press E to quickly choose the last the one. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Ah. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. Yeah, yeah, okay. That way you don't oh. have to go back and forth. Right, that's see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Demo, huh? in builder simulator, okay, so they're being better about their demo. That allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Mini game? Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Okay. Great. Now place the hollow block on it. Oh, do I just press one? Level up! I never ah. thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Oh my god. Now yeah. you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Okay. Give it a try. Okay. How do I, uh... It's this mini game. Oh, shit. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. So you put again. two at once now because we leveled up. Ah, Let's that's cool. Now. now I can play three. All right, okay. I like this is good. This is good gamification of it. This is actually a really good poster child of all the problems with sim games being addressed properly. Left trigger. And not only that, when you get close to the ladder, you can fold and unfold it. So we build scaffolding. Okay. Right. Select scaffolding and place it. I mean, okay. There. Good work. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. <laughs> the 12th layer is the lintel layer. I'm in a locked animation at the moment. Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Yeah, good. By wood lintel from the shop. All right. All right, there's our lintel. Right. It's time to oh. place it in the hologram. Fabulous. There we go. Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Yep. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. Okay. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. All right. You're losing me a little bit here, but let's go. Ceiling concrete block. Some would say the sky. Right. Okay. This makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. Can <laughs> I jump up? Yeah. Bad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. Okay. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. Next step will be doors nice. and windows. See you later. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Look at my house coming along. So there's a lot to learn, but it's packaged quite well. You know, we play a lot of tutorials on this channel because that's the nature of it. This game has a lot of moving parts and it could have just as easily, and we've seen it before, it could have thrown us in the deep end with no direction or it could have given us walls of dry text with tiny font and I will take this really annoying robot man drip feeding us how to play every it every single time. And windows to bring light into the house. You know what I mean? Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? Yes. You don't have to do it this time. No, because they're already you there. To know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Right, yes, of course. Let's start with doors. Let's do exactly that. By one front door. By one front door. I can do that. Front door. Right. Bought. 
Select it from the inventory. Oh, I got a spirit level. Look at the entrance of the house. Hang on. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust oh, yeah. it using Make the it. scroll bar. Oh, this uh, will turn green when it's done. After yeah, that the door, will do. You have to choose which pattern you like and apply it. Great job. <laughs> That's cool. Now you have to screw in the hinges. Do I now? Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Now oh, shit. Using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply it... fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now there we you go. know how to insert a door. Look at that. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the phone. We'll talk about it later. Right, okay. Amazing. Amazing. Let's move on to windows. Yeah, okay. There are two types of windows. Buy one window. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard. Oh, that's a bit window. crooked, isn't it? Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Oh, I got a flashlight. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done. Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun. Now it's time to put in all the screws you need. Next step, nice. insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Correct. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Install Did window you seals. See how the phone filled itself after the wedges were inserted? Adjust. We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Ah. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Nice. Great. Look at the patio window next to you. Uh, you can see the difference. That's everything. Oh, wow. Look at that. Windows. Okay, cool. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. Yeah, cool. Sure. See you in the next day. So I'm guessing sandbox, you could probably yeah. just build your own house and... Contract mode will be, you know, just normal contracts or campaign or whatever, yeah, whatever it's bloody called. Partition walls are my hobby. Yeah, good. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. Yeah, I'm sure. They'll tell you all about it. Okay, yeah. Can, let's, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the training room. All right. I don't want to admit it, but he's growing on me a little bit. Like... <laughs> Like I said, it could Our be infinitely worse, and it often other, is. And should therefore have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Right. Of course, you have to mark them on the by a hundred profiles. But for the purpose of the tutorial on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. All right. To build a wall. You need floor, ceiling, and Wall uh -huh. profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the hologram and screw them in with a drill. Remember, the profiles are screwed to the ceiling and floor. Uh huh. Good job! Nice. Alright, now, now we buy plasterboard. Screw the plasterboard too. Isn't that amazing? My 100 plasterboards. Well this is great. I've never really built a house or, or any of this stuff. I've done renovation and Looks I've had great. to I've had to smash walls down. The I've had to go the other way. Take your drill out but uh, actual building like wall partitions nice. and that? No, I haven't done any of this Every before. Wall needs to be insulated. By rock wool. Ah. Wait, rock wool. You mean mineral wool? Excellent. 
Okay, I think the, the tutorial is a little confused there, but that's okay. You must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory. Yeah, okay, so insulation first. Nice. This is great because we played like House Flipper a bit, what, last year? And I, same sort of thing. I really, really enjoyed that. Chuck a comment if you want to see some more House Flipper. Um, because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind playing that. Right. Isn't that what I've got selected? Oh, whoops. Oh, maybe it was bugged out. Okay. There we go. So, rubber out the floor. Yeah. You need some mortar. You'll find ah. it in the Yeah, okay. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the yep. stock. No, we did cover that. Era. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar. All right, I did. Everything's yep. Ready for concrete By 100 blocks. concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. By lintel. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one little. You just mean the, the hollow block is. Oh no, much, hang on. But you never know when it uh -huh. get to the DIY markets. Here we go. Build the concrete partition wall. What's going on here? Pick up. Might need that. Okay, cool. So um, put the block like that. Get the trowel. Mini game. Oh, okay, it doesn't do it over the other side. Aha, that's interesting though. Okay. Yeah, see that's, so the mini game's only helpful at a much larger area. This is really cool. And an E is your, uh, is your sort of quick swap, like Q in a in like a CSGO or something like that. You know, flick between your two weapons. So it's particularly helpful when you're doing shit like this. <laughs> this works so well. Because I, I couldn't, I wouldn't help but think that something like this you know, laying bricks one at a time would be tedious, right? Surely that's the reaction most would have because that's the reaction that I had. Um, however, no, not at all. They've actually managed to get the balance really right. I'm actually really impressed with this game. Not that I was going in expecting it to be bad or anything, you know. All right, lintel. Trail. The wheel is superb. What? Look at that. One more fun thing is that you can destroy that. Oh, why would I want to do that? I built a perfectly first, good wall. You have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. Right. That makes sense, because so much of the world is interactive. Don't accidentally smash everything. If you're not happy with the partition walls, take a sledgehammer in your hand and destroy them! Now, the, the one thing I'd wonder, and I doubt it has it in this game, but wouldn't that be cool, that would be some sort of repair refurb component. And that's kind of part of what uh, hard space seems to be missing is the idea of give me a mode in this give me a house that has chunks broken and missing like damage from a storm or whatever and then then you have to actually do patchwork cut out the broken bits and replace it and fix it you know maybe the load bearing wall needs to be replaced whole cloth for its integrity that sort of stuff i doubt that that's in this but that would be really cool what goes up and down what stays in the same place and that's one of the things i think a lot of people wanted more of in hard space is the ability to sort of um triage the situation right as opposed to like you're going in there and breaking it you apart can build any shape of house. 
but all the ships are usually, well, I haven't played through the full release later hard space, but I'm presuming that they're all intact. The idea of like the ship having broken parts and bits blown out of it and trying to work around all that is uh, interesting. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy a staircase. Okay. Sure. Sorry, Matt, I was busy ignoring you because you're insufferable. Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. And now, just like with doors and windows, you can choose the type and color of stairs. Amazing! Well, oh, that's pretty straightforward. When I look at them, I think they don't fit. Really? As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. Right. You need to change them. Okay. This also applies to game and software development. Okay, fine. We get it. Again, you got to be careful with the camera winking. Uh, tear down the staircase with the sledgehammer. All right. Nice. Now, buy one more stairs in the shop. Okay. You're quick. Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? It very. In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all. Sure, no, of course. Thank you, and see you later. All right, thank you, thank you, sir. Now, if I go menu, how many of these bloody tutorials have we gotten through? All right, if we go game mode, tutorial, planner, interior designer, contract sandbox. So there's a lot going on here. Looks like we're a bit over halfway, so we've still got roofing, walls, interior, parts, planner, and that, that'll cover everything. This is good, um, and it's also necessary, right? And, you know, sometimes it comes up, why don't, you know, maybe I should do the tutorials not on the channel, but at the same time, I have grown to appreciate that there is kind of an art form to tutorial design, and sadly, it's a, it's a real problem in a lot of the industry and a lot of like indie development as well as AAA, because um, often the developers will end up in a bit of a, it's not even an echo chamber, but consider say you're designing a game on your own and you're interested and excited about the new part of your development that you need to add on. But you forget that you've played your own games build for like 500 hours and you know it off by heart. You know it better than your children's faces, right? So you are not the best person in a way to design the tutorial do you know what i mean um and often you have these developers and it happens at all ends of the industry that are, uh, have no idea how obtuse their game is to someone coming in that's never played it before so i particularly like showing off things like this this is one of the better tutorials even though that robot's kind of annoying like i said in the scheme of things he's he is absolutely not the worst option far from it um, this is like one of the better tutorials I've played like all year. And I think it's worth celebrating and appreciating it because it gives you insight to the developers as well. Now he did make a lot of meta jokes about how the developers have changed the demo and all that, but there's something in there. It gives you insight to how the, the developers are self deprecating. They're, um, they're a bit cheeky, but they also seem to actively listen and change things. So it gives you an idea of what the game is, where it's going. There's a little bit more of a sort of personal touch. Anyway, I just thought I'd talk about that because, like I said, a game with so many moving parts, you do need to tutorialize it. And I think there's value in showing off that it that they have nailed it, basically. So, um, yeah, I want to play more of this. I want to keep digging deeper. There's only so much we can cover in half an hour. Let me know if you want to see some more because I would very much love to, you know, build a full house in this game. That would be very cool. All right, team, we might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.